What we see here is some of the drone comb, the burr comb that was built under the medium frames that were in the extended box with the deep supers. Right in here we can see some of the well, larva that have grown somewhat. Over here in this area we can see eggs down in the cells. Just a little bit of glistening there as the eggs are supposed to start to hatch. The bees have put a little bit of nectar or royal jelly or whatever the correct term for that is. Over here we can see some eggs floating in that jelly-like substance. This piece and this piece it all went together. This is across the full end of the bo bottom of one of the combs. The larvae that we see here are the drone that are not yet covered. Um, we're going to destroy these drones, but what we're going to particularly look at are these covered drones. You can see some of the honey has leaked out, some of the drones are falling out. We're going to uncover these and we're going to examine these for mites. So we'll start on this first side here. A mite is a small critter. It would be the mite is to the bee as the tick is to us humans. So what I'm doing is just pulling the the tops of the combs out and we're going to look for mites in the drone. Apparently the mite life cycle is such that the mite, the adult female mite, goes into the drone cell when the bees put the egg in just before the bees cover put a cap on that drone cell. And then she lays eggs in there and this is pretty tough stuff to get that top off. She legs eggs three different times, three to five times during the life of that, while that drone is pupating and before he hatches out. I don't see. The mite should show up as a little tiny black object. Oh, I don't know, maybe a 32nd of an inch in width. Let's try this a different way. Let's just try breaking the comb. There we go. We can see along the edges there. I don't see any black, no tiny black spots. This right here is a piece of comb dirt, but the mite might look about that size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Since the mite life cycle has it growing in the drone cells, examining the drone cells is a is one way of identifying the mite. I'm not sure what you can see there. That might be about the size of the mite, but that's some dirt. I had dropped this. You can see some other dirt on the fingers. So again, you can see the drone pupas, the worm just about ready to make its little cocoon in there and metamorphose then into the full adult bee. The drone will be male bees. I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this comb with the drone larva in it because I removed it from the bottom of my mediums and I was doing some hive work. I'm not seeing any evidence of mite in here. This is a good thing.
I'm getting bee parts all over me. And, um, so again, we're just going to let this go here. No mites observed there. We'll put these worms back on the plate. Clean up the fork. That's the end of the video there.